Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. It is the Earthmaster out here with a quick update video on another large flare coming in here off of the sun. Uh, we're currently seeing an X flare coming in. Looks like an X1 point, almost an X1.1. Uh, it looks like it has peaked out there around a X1.01. Uh, now this is coming off of, uh, I believe, it's going to be the sunspot down here. But uh, these images are a little bit delayed in terms of, you know, the time frame that the data comes in here. But it looks as though that is coming off of the uh, uh, Earth-facing side sunspot there, 3664, which has been uh, quite dynamic. There's a little imagery of it from this morning. Latest updated imagery here still shows, goodness, this is a very complex sunspot and uh, i believe this is the one that just popped off a decent x flare it does not look like it was eruptive but uh well, let's see here maybe it was up on this spot maybe it was from the uh, departing sunspot here look at that uh, i'm starting to see a signature of a flare up here notice the uh, kind of a x pattern on that sunspot uh, area so, uh, but then again, this one looks like it's flaring. So it's hard to say exactly what's going on either way. A radio blackout being observed there across the Western Pacific around Japan uh, and the Papua New Guinea area centered over, looks like around the Central Pacific or West Central Pacific out here. Of course, what could be affected is a high frequency uh, and low frequency navigation system. So we got communication and navigation systems that could be temporarily blacked out due to the uh, the R. Looks like it did peak up into the R3 class storm here. So a little bit of radio blackout being observed there. Uh, again, let's see here. Looking to see if this has been updated yet. I think it's coming off of this one here. So uh, that's going to be sunspot number 3663. That's been the source of numerous X flares here recently and quite a few M flares. But as you can see, things are departing over here. They're starting to drift off uh, to the western limb, northwestern limb. And again, we're left with a huge dynamic sunspot. I think it's just waiting for the right time here. Uh, to pop off something significant it's very complex it's been a while since i've seen a super complex sunspot like that and um yeah so uh here's a visible disc imagery of it pretty nice looking fairly nice looking a super huge sunspot and again all sorts of complexity uh going on within that sunspot region Yeah, it's got to be this one up here. So, all right, um, we'll be back a little bit later on tonight to cover all of this and more earthquake activity right now. Uh, looks like Southern California, just south there, has seen a 4.1 in the last hour or so. This was prior to the uh, X flare right now. Rest of the globe, we'll cover all that a little bit later on uh, this evening in tonight's update. So stay safe out there and uh, be prepared.